Okay, what we have here is a preheat self-start ballast for a 22-watt circline lamp, meaning that instead of using an external starter, it has an internal glow tube. What we're going to do is take it out and turn it into a conventional preheat choke. The reason that we're doing this is because, one, the starter is more... When the starter glow tube that's built in burns out, there's not much you can do. So you're kind of naked in the breeze. And two, it's just more fun to see the starter glow. As you can see, I've popped open these two little tabs here with a flathead screwdriver. Now what we're going to do is take the same screwdriver, put it on the bottom, and pop that off. There we go. And you'll see there's a little piece of paper to keep the insides from touching the metal, because that could cause a problem. I'm just going to peel that up there. And we should find the, the internal glow tube. This one's a Robertson, and they have the glow tubes right out there, others don't. As you can see, a little clear sleeve. In some cases, this will be a glow tube. In others, it'll be a thermal protection unit. The thermal protection, you want the glow tube, you don't. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop this out. Just put this in here. Yep, I think we see it. There we go. Then we take our wire snippers. We see it's connected to one red wire and a and the blue wire. We'll just snip this out. And then we pull those wires through the insulator and we're done. Then we just wire an external starter socket to the wires where the glow tube once went. Enjoy.